Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOs.com. I'm the first impressions gameplay video for Dragon's Prophet, a 3D fantasy themed MMORPG published by Daybreak Game Company, previously known as Sony Online Entertainment. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around, checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Dragon's Prophet or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. So let's get started right now. It is called, bam, look at that logo, Dragon's Prophet, looks kind of cool. We can play on Kronos Lycea. It's only got two servers right now, and uh, it is developed by Rune Waker, which is kind of a big deal because they made Runes of Magic, which isn't very popular now. But when it first came out, it was super duper popular. Oh man, we got a we got an animation over here for our character creation. Hopefully, it doesn't it doesn't do that every single time because it would get annoying very quickly. It's going to make our character. It was released in 20 late, or actually mid 2013, I believe. So it's. You can see the graphics are actually not that bad. Though that sword looks pretty awful. It looks so, like, blurry, doesn't it? So we can play Guardian, which is obviously the tank class. I don't know anything about the game to guess that. We can play Ranger. They're exceptional marksmen. We can play Oracles. Look like Warlock slash Mages. Is that is that a guy or a girl? Like, it could... It, it, it's a guy, but I, I can see... Yeah, you're default male over here. Or Sorcerer. So it looks like Sorcerer the offensive mage classes. These guys are the spiritual class over here. So the female characters look like. I'm gonna play as... Like, they don't change at all when you click on them. Just like their basic outfit. Well, I'll play as a Sorcerer. I wanna have uh, some, some spells, pew pew. Let's customize that character right now. And uh, can we zoom? Yeah, we can zoom in. All right, uh, can I, I wanna scroll up. I wanna get the, I wanna get the face view. I gotta zoom out to get there. Let's see, my clothing up. Ooh, we can go we can go orange. This is this does not match that. Like, come on guys, come on. This is orange and that's like white. I guess the people that made this game are a little bit colorblind, but that's okay. And my shirt okay, there we go. Blue. You can see, ooh, can I see no clothes? Oh, that was no clothes option. Uh, I like uh, just my clothing randomly changed. We can go with are these locked? Nope, you can change individual items like that. It's kinda cool. So you have some decent customization options over here. Though this is kind of like, why is there like little locks on them? It looks kind of weird. Let's close that out for now. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, look at that staff. I like this, ooh, we got the side boob going on over here. But we can't, do we have the under boob? Any under boobs? No under boobs. Oh yeah, there we go, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that booty. You can tell the game's graphic quality by looking at the booty. Let's see what we got. We got headset. Do we have do we have the bus size? Yes, we do. Let's see how big we can get this. Let's see if we can max this out. Not bad. I bet they, they should have a cash app option to go to like 200, all right? Like you can do that in real life. Like they have cash app enhancement for your boobs. I feel like you should be able to get to 200 if you if you're willing to pay for it. Maybe in Scarlet Blade you can. No, you can't. But that that would make sense for that game. Let's see. We got. Ooh, there's a cleavage option and a breast size. What is the difference? Oh, we can just. Look at that. Squeeze boobs, spread boobs. I'm liking this game already. Good things are happening. I feel like wide is a little too much and this looks ridiculous. Let's go with, let's go with right in the middle. Breast, this game is really all about the breast. You, you have breast size, breast height, and cleavage. All right, we can get that. We can get a little bit of under boob over there. That's kind of like, how does that work? It looks like, oh, it's like pointing upwards. Like, where's the gravity? Wouldn't that be like normally Sagging a little bit. Anyway, let's do this. All right, it looks kind of awkward, but whatever. Do we have any more boob options? Like, or is that enough? I got breast angles too now. This game is, this game is getting better and better. All right, this looks more normal. This looks ridiculous. Let's go bring it down right here. One more, one more, one more. Oh yeah, we got. Okay, breast shape is our last one. It just kind of spreads out even more. I mean, is that really shape or just like width again? Let's leave it like that. But there are a lot of options. This game really cares about the boob. And th there's a lot of customization options over here. You can, you can do a lot. You got a lot of sliders going on. So, pretty good job with that. Buttock size. Let's see how big we... Big booty. Oh, come on. That's it? That's it? A little bit disappointed there. Okay, enough enough screwing around your character customization. Let's see what the game is about. But there are a lot of options over here. There's a, there's a good amount of boob and butt options. Let's name ourselves... I'll go with, I'll go with, let's go with Strixes. That doesn't really make sense for a female, but let's go with it. It's a, it's a pretty male name. And if you're curious where the name came from, it's actually the name I've been using on uh, a lot of MMORPGs lately. 
Let's go. Remote is probably taken anyway, so I'm not going to run with it. Let's go ahead and enter the game right now. I spent a lot of time on character creation. Unfortunately, I can't reveal my goods with the outfit I got on right now. They said that dragons are born out of pure chaos and drawn of Horatio's creation. That's probably the deity or something. They shaped the barren and desolate world they saw fit. Yeah, it looks kind of mean, the loading screen. So, Rune Waker Entertainment did a pretty interesting job with uh, Runes of Magic, as I said. The game launched super popular. It was one of the first free-to-play MRPDs that was really, like pretty good, pretty high quality, really high quality in the 3D realm, too. It did just copy WoW, too, so that's probably why it did really well. But it's not so popular anymore. And this game is, uh, it is by Sony. Again, oh, Daybreak Game Company. I keep, I keep forgetting that because it's not Sony anymore. Sony Online Entertainment anymore. So, and they traditionally publish slightly better than average games, I would say. They're a little bit more discerning. Press escape key to skip the cutscene. We got, we got, we got voice acting. Not bad. Let's listen a little bit. Though a lot of these games love voice acting in the tutorial area at the beginning, but they won't have it anywhere else. I guess a lot of these Asian developed MRPGs don't have the same production value as like Skyrim or any Western developed RPG or anything like that. You want voice acting in the game, you want to play Star Wars Old Republic, which is free to play now. There, I played that actually. When am I free to play? I played that a decent amount. Got the level 50. So we got a burning house, and we are in the tutorial right now. I'm gonna skip this for now. Oh. We, we, the game is like JK, hey, you can't actually skip on it. Your feet. It's good to see you can still stand on your own. It's pretty cool, he can talk with just like... Is currently under his mouth is like barely zombies. moving. Ooh, we got zombies to kill. Alright, graphically, uh, I was expecting a little bit more. We can zoom in on myself. Look at those. Are the boobs jiggling on their own? Like, they have a mind of their own, look at them go. Like, I understand like why you're moving, but like, Jesus, I'm standing still. They're alive! That's just really weird. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, WSD controls, and you can jump. So the game is Dragon's Prophet, and the only the thing I know about it is it's got emphasis on taming dragons. Crush them kind of like a Digimon slash Pokemon mixed with MMORPG elements. So it's got a strong emphasis on a pet system, which unfortunately I doubt we're going to experience in the tutorial. Strike down six mangled zombies. Yo, I bet you if I stay here like forever, that mangled zombie ain't never going to kill this girl. Never gonna kill him. Well, he's gonna attack me, maybe. So it is, yeah, you... It's it's uh, it's uh, not the traditional point-and-click style gameplay where you just take turns beating each other. You can actually aim your individual attacks by just spamming left-click. That's what we're gonna do right now. I want to cast a spell. Right-click is uh, some magic. It looks like my... Bam! Doing a lot of combos over there. That guy's got a pretty huge hammer. See, if I, if I just spam right-click, it just... It does a bajillion damage. Bam! Level 2 already. Literally doubled my level. Now, this attack is my sort of my arcane missile. Looks like well, they both they both say arc. And right click does. It actually looks way cooler. This looks like pretty intense. Look at that massive AOE damage. I've gained three attribute points. Click C, and try opening blah blah blah. Three attribute relocation before level 15. Why would I put strength? I'm totally a mage. I'm gonna put it into intelligence. Max that out. Click accept over there. And put, we're good to go. We did that. Now where we go? Oh, we gotta kill more zombies. We gotta kill one more. Let's see what's going on. Oh man, we got some like booger, booger snail things. And we got a dragon. Dragon's prophet. And like I'm not even seeing the dragon spit fire. It's just launching from off screen. Corrupted dragons as well. You want to live. Focus on the I never understood, like, in a lot of these first. fantasy RPGs, They're how, like, the humans above. have any chance against dragons. Like, I'm sorry, but dragons are, like, breathing fire and literally flying. Like, what are you gonna do to them? A couple arrows? It's not gonna work. So we're gonna kill a venomous doom dragon. These are ugly dragons. Well, at least tutorial-wise, combat is, uh, is less than impressive. You're just kind of holding right mouse button down, and you just wreck these things. It's not even close. Like, I, I feel like a lot of these free-to-play RPGs, as well as Western MRPGs now, if you've noticed, the trend has always been to make them a lot easier. I actually went back to play WoW uh, a while ago, and it was so much easier than when I first played it. Like, if you've played WoW now versus WoW and Vanilla, it's a completely different experience. It's just old. It, just, it was just made to go easier. And I feel like this... Well, it is a tutorial here, so I can't be too picky. But yeah, tutorial is really easy, guys. Press escape to skip this cutscene. Uh, will it actually work this time? Or will it not? 
I'm gonna skip it. Strike down the corrupt the sky touch dragon. Can I beat this dragon by just holding right click? Let's find out. My hand is off the keyboard. I'm just holding right click with one finger. You know what? I'm not even gonna dodge. I'm not even gonna dodge. So the combat is trying to be, uh, I guess, a little bit more like Neverwinter, where you can see the, the red stuff where the enemies are gonna attack. So you're supposed to be able to dodge these, and like it kind of makes gameplay more dynamic and more interesting. Very level four. Wow. Leveling up is uh, is definitely fast paced. I mean, you get to level four in like five minutes of gameplay. Leveling is definitely pretty fast. Is he gonna like smack kill him right there? Kind of like in Dragon's Age. Stabs him from the head. Looks awesome. Nope. Look at that booty. Look at that flexibility. I'm just kind of looking down. Skip that. I am done with the tutorial, I think. Yeah, we're actually going to enter the game now. Pretty short tutorial. Just teaches you how to gasp, move around, which is pretty unnecessary. Though, honestly, I was expecting the gameplay to be a bit more interesting and more fluid. Because if you've played Terra, not to say Terra's gameplay is amazing, but it just it just feels really cheap. I can just hold, look, I'm just holding right click. There's like no no delay on this ability. It just kind of keeps going. Left click is a little bit slower paced. Let's go. Let's go talk to Wayfarer Liaison. F request. Hi to you too. Like, I'm not gonna read this. Except, I feel like I used to care about quest text when I first started playing MRPGs a long time ago. But when you play so many of these games, you just you really don't care. I'm sorry. Uh, this guy's what, what do you got for me? Transportation center. Okay, this guy lets me. Basically, you're like teleports around the world for money. I don't want to talk to that guy. Let's talk to Hunter Raymond Tia. Yes. Accept. Beware of the shadows. Beware of the shadows. What, what does that even mean? Like, there's a shadow over there, like underneath this hut. Okay, unlock my achievement. Open the achievement window to see my rewards. Finishing the tutorial. I feel like this is like the least impressive achievement in the world because literally everyone has to complete it. So it doesn't mean anything. But you do get rewards for it, so I do like that. Claim all. Okay, claim this. Did I already get it? Did I already get it? Charisma plus 0.1. Alright, very few games give you stats in the in the decimal points. And I got a title, so we gotta equip my title yet. Go to character interface, go to my title page. It is right there. The titles give stats, and it looks like they do. So depending on what title you equip, you have different varying stats. There's a lot of titles apparently. And I can't do any of these right now anyway. Let's see where I have to go next. Uh, the graphics, I did not pump out the max settings just yet because I just launched the game. Can we see the graphic options? I want to see what's up. Dragon's Table. So you can, you can actually breed your own dragons, it looks like, too. I'm just guessing what that Dragon's Table is for. But with an emphasis on dragon taming, it's trying to make like a Pokemon slash Digimon esque experience with. I mean, it's not going to be nowhere near that uh, varied. As Pokemon or Digimon, I can't. There can't be that many options. What does this guy got for me? But the game does have a strong emphasis on pets. Oof! I got the double jump. I was gonna say, if there was no double jumping, I was gonna be disappointed. But the fact that we can double jump is a huge plus, and we can actually climb on things. Guys, okay, can we can we go on here? Can we go on here? I wanna go on the roof over here. Yes. No. Up here. Yes, I'm up here. Okay, the fact that you can get up here kind of tells you the game world is built with, uh, I guess, some care and precision that you can actually do this. A lot of games you can't even like walk on fences or jump over fences. Just it feels really cheap. This game's got at least that figured out. Hello. You can ride on your own dragons too. It looks kind of cool. Too bad I don't have a dragon yet. I'm just in the beginning area. Did I just equip a title already? This needs to go away. I got my. Ch I, I already did that too. Old Jenny, what do you got for me? Bad County bad. sheep. What a quest. What do I gotta do with these sheep? I count them by killing them? No, they don't die. So we're, I'm gonna go outside town and just kill some things for now. Screw questing right now, but you should definitely do quests. I just wanna see some, if the game plays any harder right now. I suspect it won't be. Well, that bridge was destroyed in the tutorial. I bet you anything the game won't let me suicide. Uh, wow, never mind. The game totally does let you suicide. I retract. Okay, you know what? I'm impressed that the game lets you do that. A lot of games don't let you do it. It is, you can revive with no penalty anyway. Oh, resurrecting for free on the spot costs usually money, but you can do it for free if you're below 15. Revive brings you back to town. So I guess if you have cash out money, you die, you can just, boom, res wherever you want.
but it doesn't really matter for me because I'm below level 15. I can do it for free, and I can't really res in that pit. So I will have to eat my words over there because you can actually get yourself killed. A plus for that. Player base seems pretty empty, actually, though, which is a bit unfortunate for a game released somewhat recently. Double tapping runs, which is which is no surprise. Let's go kill something outside town. I want to tame something, too, which is, I'm sure there's a tutorial for it, too, but I'm just kind of skipping it right now. I'm going to kill some Aquarian assailants. I'm going to hold right click and kill these. No, whoa, 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 whoa. These are not nearly as easy. Whoa, whoa, get the heck, get, what am I doing? Get out of here. I cannot kill Aquarians. Get out. What level are these things? Does it tell me? Oh, get out. Yes, it does tell you in the top right. I didn't get to see it, though. Help! Guards, please! Okay, I'm in. I'm in town. Oh, wow. Those guards are utterly useless. Like, thanks, bro. What's the point of having town guards and they literally don't even help you? He's, like, swinging at nothing. What are you, what are you doing, bro? Help me out. This is there you go. No. No! <laughs> that guard is an asshole. Literally an a-hole. Okay, so we're not going to kill uh, those Aquarian things that are going to wreck me. I'm going to kill... These look way more friendly. Let's kill these. They're level 6. I forgot. I didn't see what level those other guys were. These things die much, much easier. So pro tip, guys. You want to look at the level of the things you're trying to kill. Otherwise, you're going to get you're gonna get destroyed. And it's not very good. Can I get rid of this experience thing? I, I, I get the fact that I... Let me close this out. All right, I probably should pay attention to some of those. So you have main storyline quests, which are definitely worth doing. You get rewarded with these goodies that increase stats, which are must-haves, I guess. This wandering zombie is just chilling out here. Guards probably not even helping kill this either. Experience meter is at the bottom. And my, if I click six, I can try capturing something. Uh, the target is not a dragon. I can't really tame dragons if they're not dragons. Let's go find a dragon to tame. I want to tame, I want to tame a dragon. Now having dragons gives you, uh, increases your, you, you have more, uh, skills, supported skills from having the dragon with you, and they fight for you in battle. These things are way too cute to kill. They're level 6. What are these level, level 7? No, they're not level 7. These are probably level 1. Like, interface is a little, I mean, the aiming is a little bit odd, because, like, I, I was trying to see what level the squirrel thing was, but it didn't let me. So there's no dragons here for me to tame right now, but when I find one, I will definitely tame it. The water looks pretty. Graphics on the water, A+. Plus. I do like the fact that the combat is uh, action-oriented, though again, it's not nearly as fluid as Neverwinter. I went back and played Neverwinter recently too, and that was uh, it was actually pretty fun because of the player-made questing stuff. is really cool. Interesting stories people make on there. Dragons over there. Let's go tame one. But the combat here is not not as fluid, unfortunately, and it's not as it doesn't feel as responsive as Terra either. It just it just maybe it takes a little while to get used to as well. Can I tame this guy? Okay, so you tame it by jumping on it and punching it. Oh, 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 oh! I have to get this, keep this thing in the middle. You can see there's a little. I can't even show you. Yes, stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle thing. In the middle. Okay, I keep in the. As long as I keep in the middle, I'm good. The center of the circle is how you. Do. Is it just at the end or the whole? Boom! Got him. So apparently that's how you tame dragons, guys. You just. It's kind of like riding a bull and bull or something. So I can. Can I fly now? Oh yeah. I do like the fact that you have free flight. This is something that WoW added, like, it took them a, lot, a while to add it, but they have flying mounts now. But you have flying mounts early on in the game, and the fact that you, the game lets you jump over stuff, and like, can I climb on these mountains? Can I climb on the mountains? Yeah, but you can't even fly that high up, unfortunately. And oddly, the game feels blurry. I feel like the graphics could be a lot better. But that's probably because I don't have the game maxed out quite yet, either. So can I get this guy to fight for me? I want to see what the, the pet battles are kind of like. I am uh, running out of time, actually, too. But I am disappointed by the lack of players right now. Uh, can, I dis can I dismount this thing? Tap to dismount. Okay. Can you just kind of disappear at the inventory? What does Q do? Whoa! I, I feel like PvP could be a lot of fun with these uh, action elements. I'm out of mana. I just wasted all my mana just teleporting like that. You need to aim individual abilities, and you can just blink, or just teleport forward like that. It's, it gives a lot of element of skill to the game in PvP. In any uh, action-oriented game, whether it's Neverwinter or uh, Terra, the PvP is just a little bit more fun. Is this person following me? No, it's a zombie. So I did tame my first dragon. Unfortunately, I did read that you can only tame uh, a handful of dragons early on. Unless you pay money, of course. I think you have two slots. Can I go to my stable and see what's up over there? 
Dragon Stable. So you can see my stats on my dragon. This guy, and of course there's some RNG as well. Dragons have different stats, so you might have to keep taming the same monster over and over again until you get the stats you desire, to get the most optimal stats. I feel like a Pokemon style MMORPG, like what this game is trying to do is really solid. Whether it pulls it off or not, I'm not quite sure just yet. But if it pulls it off really well, I feel like it could be incredibly popular. There's a huge demand for like a really well-made MMORPG with like a really in-depth pet system a la Pokemon or Digimon Inspire. But I am going to call it for now. If you guys do want to play Dragon's Profit or learn more about it, do check out the full review on MOS.com on the link below. And also, if you're looking for a game with a lot of boob customization, Dragon's Profit is your game. Anyway, guys, later.